Dr. Pratik Bishash, consultant pulmonologist attached with Nephrocare Salt Lake. So, pulmonary system, that is respiratory system and renal system go hand in hand even before a human being is born. The evidence from this is seen from the fact that fetal urine secretes proline which helps in the growth of the lung. So today I am here to discuss respiratory complications seen in chronic renal failure. First of all, why do we need to address these problems? It is needs to be addressed because we need to provide symptomatic relief to the patients. Number two, there is always an interplay between the renal and respiratory system which helps in maintaining acid-base equilibrium in the body which is very much essential. And last but not the least, if these complications are not dealt with, this might pose a barrier for renal transplant in future. So, I will be discussing few of these complications one by one. Number one, pulmonary edema. It is nothing but accumulation, excessive accumulation of fluid inside the lung which leads to cough, increase in breathlessness, desaturation. So, it could be due to the volume overload or it could be due to the left heart failure. Secondly, pleural effusion which is nothing but excess amount of fluid accumulated inside the pleural space which is nothing but a cavity between lung and the skin and the rib cage. That is the pleural space. So the pleural effusion could be due to num numerous number of uh, uh, reasons in patients of chronic renal failure which needs evaluation. Thirdly, if a patient of chronic renal failure has a lot of snoring, exercise, daytime, sleepiness, desaturation during sleep, then the patient might be having obstructive sleep apnea which needs to be treated with CPAP and other measures. There is something called as pulmonary hypertension which is increase in blood pressure seen in vessel between heart and the lung. So why pulmonary hypertension evaluation is important in patient of CRF because if it is not treated well, if such patients undergo transplantation, it might lead to early graft failure and it carries a poor prognosis and increase in mortality. Infections, lot of infections are seen in patients of CRF if precautions are not taken because as we all know, chronic renal failure is an immunosuppressive state due to the disease itself or due to the immunosuppressive drugs used after renal transplant. Last but not the least, very rarely we get pulmonary metast metastatic pulmonary calcification which is due to the abnormal homeostasis between calcium and phosphate metabolism. Thank you so much.